we're going to make an eggnog bread with rum glaze. Y'all, this sounds so good. So good. So, thought I'd bring y'all along while we make this to our big mixing bowl. We're going to put in two eggs. One, two. These are at room temperature. You already know. If you've been here a while, that's how I like to bake with room temperature eggs. To that, we're going to add one and a half cups of eggnog. I am using the Southern Comfort Eggnog. It is my favorite. It is so good, so delicious, and I may have me a little cup as soon as we get this mixed up and in the oven. Just saying. There's that. I need two tape, two teaspoons of spiced rum. I'm using Captain Morgan's. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that smells amazing. So there's one. Maybe just a little bit extra, just for, you know, good luck. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, now we're going to add one cup of sugar just got regular white sugar here. Grab my cup. There's a cup of sugar. We're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. I almost grabbed the rum again. <laughs> that. Let me check the recipe. Butter. That was it. Alright, we're going to add a whole stick of room temperature unsalted butter. Okay. We'll add that in. There we go. Put that over there. Now we're going to mix our wet ingredients together. Now the recipe says to do this with a paddle attachment, I am I don't have my kitchen aid up and going right now, so this is what we're using. There's that. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Bring this little bowl up here. We're gonna scooch that back for just a minute, and now we're going to put in. I'm gonna bring my sifter over here. And we're going to add two and a fourth cup of all-purpose flour. We're going to sift all this together. So, I am going to need, since I have that kind of sifter, so there's one. There's two. And then I need a fourth. There is a fourth. I'm going to add in. The recipe calls for a package of French vanilla pudding. All I have is just regular vanilla. That's what I'm putting in. Use what you have in your pantry. There is that. Now we're going to add, I'm trying to keep that from dumping out everywhere, two teaspoons of baking soda. And that is wet. So let me dry this out real quick. 
Ah, two teaspoons baking soda. There's one. There's two. We need a half teaspoon of salt. Here comes my kitchen helper. We'll see if he helps. There's a quarter, and there's a half. And a half teaspoon of nutmeg. Now you can do, you can grind your own or however you wanna do it, okay? You wanna do fresh nutmeg? Please be my guest. I don't want to. And now, let me put the lid on this, get this out of the way, and we are going to sift this all together. Okay, now we've got that sifted together. We are going to add, I think I'm going to add just a little bit at a time. No, we'll go ahead and put it all in. Recipe says it's okay, but we don't want to hold and mix. So here we go, just until incorporated. Let me move that. we go. I'm going to take my little spatula over here and I am just going to go around the sides of the bowl. Y'all, <laughs> another time I wish there was such a thing as smell-o-vision because y'all would be like, ah. Now this batter is a little bit thick. It says that it will be. And it says that the butter, if you notice that there's clumps in there, it says that the butter will stay clumpy and that it'll melt into the bread during the baking part of it. All right, let's get this in our pan. Look at that beautifulness. Whoop. If I don't lose stuff. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's not happening. This spatula doesn't do that good of a job of getting everything out. And if y'all have not paid attention <laughs> ever, I hate leaving anything in the bowl. Like, I just do. That is a pet peeve of mine. My grandmother would scrape a bowl so clean, there was nothing to lick by the time she got done with it. Absolutely nothing. It was kind of a letdown as a child. Just saying. That little piece don't want to let go. Okay. Mmm. Oh, y'all. Mmm. Holy mackerel. That's good. That's really good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Before I eat the whole thing of dough, <laughs> let's get this in the oven. I've got my oven preheated, 350. This is going to go in for 45 to 55 minutes. We will start checking it at 45 and see where we're at then. And then after this comes out, we're going to make the glaze, the rum glaze. Y'all, I'm excited about that. So let's get this in the oven. There we go. Let's get our timer set. 45 minutes. And now let's get our mess cleaned up. Once again. 
it is time to check. We're at 45 minutes. So we're going to check our eggnog bread. Oh my gosh, y'all, this smells so good. And I can already tell it is not ready. So I'm going to set the timer for about, we'll, we'll do it for 10 minutes. But I'll, I'll start checking it after about five or so. It's still real jiggly in the middle, so not ready yet. We'll be back. So let's turn that off and see where we're at now. Oh my goodness, y'all, this just smells so good. Let me grab my toothpick, going right down in the middle. Nope, nope, we're not there yet. All right, so I am going to put this back in. I'm going to hit it five minutes, okay? Five minutes. We'll see. We'll see what that does. That'll put us at an hour for this. So, fingers crossed, this is it. We'll see. Okay, Hi. because there's no sense in spending um, money on stuff that you already have, it's why not put that money towards doing it little towards the towards the recording. What's it doing? It's recording. Right? It's just, it's no way. It's just recording normally. To backfill than it is to the refill. It's not all about some candles. Where did you learn this from? You know, that's a choice. So I don't know. Way, you can really? do things like this. You can stock up on store bought <laughs> All right, let's check this again and see what we have. I'm just, I'm not even going to take it out of the oven yet. I'm just going to pull it out. Y'all, we're done. Clean toothpick. We're done. Boop, boop. Let me set it up here. Look. Mm, 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 mm. Now, I am going to turn my oven off. I'm done with it for the night. Finally. I'm going to check this one more time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, we're going to let it sit here for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to put it down on the cooling rack. And then, we're going to make the glaze that goes on top of this. I think I'm most excited about that. This smells amazing. I can't wait. I just can't wait. So, we'll be back in a few minutes. We're going to make this glaze. This is going to be the last thing I do tonight. It is 9.30 p.m. And I am ready to sit down. But I want to make this glaze for this beautiful eggnog bread. So, let me go grab what I need. And we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's do this. So, make a little room here. I need a cup of powdered sugar, confectioner sugar, icing sugar, whatever you want to call it. I need a cup of it. I'm using a half cup measure. There we go. Move this out of the way. There we go. I need two teaspoons of eggnog. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. Just two little teaspoons. Oop. Oop. Maybe a little more. <laughs> mm. Y'all, that stuff's so good. Oh my goodness. Two tablespoons of the spiced rum. That is a two tablespoon measure. And an eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Again, you can do your fresh nutmeg. 
I am not. I am doing this. There we go. So now we're going to take our whisk. We're going to whisk this together. We're going to see if we have to add any more liquid to this. I don't think we're going to have to on this one. I don't think. And it smells. Oh my gosh. Y'all, look in there. It smells so good. So good. It is, oh, well. Okie dokie. <laughs> It has already come together. Y'all, I've got to taste test this. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh Lord. Mm. That's so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. I could just eat that. Like, I could just eat that. And I'm sure y'all hear Aiden. Again, his room is right there on the other side of the wall. So, I'm just going to get some and we're just going to drizzle this. Whoop. I have it sitting on a cookie sheet on the cooling rack and I've got a piece of wax paper underneath it. We're just going to do this. Oh, y'all. And I thought the bread smelled good. Lord have mercy. This is going to be awesome. A part of me just wants to pour this all over it. Oh, or just, you know, dip it in there. Cut a slice, dip it. Mm-hmm. I would not be opposed to that. So good. So good. I can't wait to try the the actual bread part of it. This is exciting. And I don't want to waste any of this glaze now. I just don't. I've got plenty. Make sure I get it on the sides there so it can drip down a little bit. Y'all, I'm not going to be able to use all this. I am not. All right. I've got a little bit left. Not much. I'm sure I'll figure something out to use it on. And look, it's starting to come down. Uh, I have to do this. I have to. Let's see how this works. Just kind of push it over the edge a little bit. You know what I'm saying? This is not going to be much to clean up. I'll just pour the wax paper off. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This might be a genius idea. Just drizzle it down the side. On the corners. Come on, there you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hear y'all cheering from home watching this video. I hear you. <laughs> Alright. Oh my gosh. Mm, 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 mm. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my best to let this sit here for just a few minutes while I clean this up again. And then we're going to cut a slice and we're going to taste test, okay? And I'm going to try my best to get Paps in here to taste test with us. So let me get my mess cleaned up quickly, quickly. Taste test time. We have a visitor back there. He is taste tested on his own. Y'all, look how beautiful that cake came out, or that bread. 
I'm gonna call it a cake. Mmm. So what do you think? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. It is. Super moist. Mmm. I think that glaze makes it. I'm going to dip mine in the extra, the runoff. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, y'all, we're going to go have dessert and enjoy our eggnog cake bread, whatever it's called. It's good. Try this.